Hello and welcome to yet another DLC announcement for Total War Free Kingdoms, A World Betrayed. This is being announced currently on the Total War YouTube channel as well at this moment in time, but we as content creators were allowed to talk a little bit about it too and share our plans for uh, what kind of content we'll be making before release. So, first, the actual DLC. What is A World Betrayed? So this is set in 194 CE, four years after the original start date, um, and it's essentially about the conflict between Cao Cao and Lu Bu. Um, so Lu Bu has assassinated Dong Zhou, uh, and Sun Tzu is beginning his conquest of Jiangdong, uh, and Liu Bei has succeeded Tao Qian. So the new playable warlords in A World Betrayed are Lu Bu and Sun Tzu, and there will also be a free LC, so no matter whether you buy this uh, DLC or not, you will also be able to play as Yan Bai Yu. Yan Bai Hu? Anyway, he's a bandit, a new bandit character alongside Zheng Zhang and Zhang Yan, which also brings me to the fact that the free LC updates bandits like crazy. Uh, I mean, I'm not allowed to talk about the, the, the bandit stuff too much yet because um, that's one of the caveats of our own schedules or on embargoes is we're allowed to cover anything but the bandits until release because I think CA wants to get into that themselves. Um, but I am allowed to say that yeah the bandits have gotten a massive overhaul which is also kind of why I've been putting off the Zheng Zhang let's play because obviously last week uh, or two weeks ago at this point maybe the Dong Zhou campaign came to an end because the events weren't triggering uh, and I said at that time I was going to be doing Zheng Zhang instead to replace that campaign. But then I got access to this new DLC and we were told that the bandits are getting a massive overhaul and I figured well there's no point playing Zheng Zhang now when the bandit factions are getting a huge overhaul. So I am allowed to talk about it a little bit. Basically what they get is, um, well, there's a whole, there's tons and tons of changes. They get new units, uh, they get uh, yellow turbine units as well I believe, they get uh, instead of, for example, something very simple uh, is is um, your um, when you're moving on, across the map. Man, I can't even remember the name of this now. But your supplies, essentially army supplies, um, those are now different. They're loot for bandits instead, which work completely differently. Like the more loot you have, um, the more your army gets complacent, and uh, if you have less loot, then they get angry, so they might leave you, but they will also be better in combat, things like that. Um, the tech tree for bandits is completely overhauled. They have a completely unique tech tree now, similar to the yellow turbans having a unique tech tree, but this one is completely different again. The factions are becoming more and more unique, which is really, really awesome. The more DLC we get, the more we see every faction becoming its own entity, really. Anyway, so besides the uh, Lubu and Sunsa being playable in 194 CE, we are, can also play as Liu Biao, Yuan Shu, Cao Cao, Zheng Zhang, Liu Bei, Kong Rong, Yuan Xiao, Zhang Yan, Ma Tong, and Gong Shenzhan. So we still have a lot of other people to play as as well. But obviously Lu Bu and Sun Tzu are going to have a very interesting uh, starting position. There's a tons of other overhauls as well. Some well, I don't want to cover too much because I'll be doing this when I'm playing the actual um, game on stream, of course. But one thing that I wanted to cover as well, which I think is great. Uh, oh, actually, before I get to that, Halo of Arrows has been nerfed. I'm not allowed to talk about patch stuff too much, but I just need, I need to put that out there. Halo of Arrows now has a limit of 5, which is still a bit high in my opinion, but that's much better. Cavalry has been nerfed like crazy. There's so much stuff I can talk about right now, but I don't want to, because I'm going to be doing that when I'm actually playing. Um, the one thing I did want to say, like I said just now, was uh, that, for example, now um, your generals, or your characters anyway, you have different ways of keeping their loyalty high. There's tons and tons of titles for them that you can give them, which you will acquire by doing specific things in a campaign. Like, I don't know, winning a battle with 60% of your army being archers. And you get a specific title for that, and then you can give that to someone. And that person will then get stats, maybe some cunning or whatever. And they get some uh, loyalty or satisfaction, stuff like that. Um, and there's like there's a couple dozen of those titles that you acquire in different ways. And I think that's such a, a great way to, to add some things as well. Um, but anyway, that's the DLC. Again, I'm going to be getting into this when I'm actually playing it on stream. So when am I going to be playing it on stream? So similar to the last time, we have eight hours uh, of streaming we are allowed to do. There's no like, there's, there's only one embargo really, which drops tomorrow at the same time as this video went out. So 24 hours from now, essentially, if you're watching this one, the video comes out, um, which is 3 p.m. Uh, GMT. Uh, my time, it'll be 4 p.m. Uh, CET. 
Um, and there will be a there will be a link in the description to a, a countdown, so you can click on that as well to see when it drops. But tomorrow, um, we are allowed to stream eight hours up to or up to eight hours total over. Um, well, I'm going to be doing it over four streams. Uh, I'm going to do two two hours per stream, so I can do four streams. Uh, during those streams, I will also be allowed to give away some keys. I've been giving four keys for a free K, two keys for uh, eight princes, and two keys for Man Native Heaven. I'll be giving away during those streams as well. Um, basically, a key per hour, essentially. Um, so I'll be streaming tomorrow for two hours. I will likely during my eight hours be covering both Lubu and Sun Tzu. I'll probably be doing four hours on each. I'm not 100% sure yet exactly how it's all going to work out. Uh, and then similar to what I did with Liu Chong and Liu Ji is I basically then finish those campaigns when the embargo drops. Uh, we do have a second technically embargo on the 15th of March. Uh, the embargo drops fully. We are allowed to record as much as possible. And I believe the DLC releases on the 17th of March. So we have a couple of days before actual release where we are allowed to just play as much as we want. Um, like I said, the only caveat is that we're not allowed to cover the bandit faction. So Zhang Zhang is going to have to wait a little bit longer and possibly even be replaced by Yan Beihe, which is now the other unique uh, bandit character that we can play as. But yeah, that's it. Um, that's basically all I wanted to talk about. So um, there, like I said, there is so much stuff to cover. There's also like 16 new characters, uh, unique characters and stuff. Uh, you'll see some of those in the Lubu and Sun Tzu campaigns immediately. Uh, other ones are added to different factions. You know how it works. Um, the, the the world is expanding, right? It's just the, the more they add, the 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 more unique uh, it becomes, and I'm really excited about that prospect. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope I will see you all tomorrow on the stream. Uh, tomorrow, I think I'll be starting with Lubu. I'll probably do Lubu twice and then Sun Tzu twice. But I'm, again, I'm not 100 sure yet. I I'll probably see what people want to see. Talk to you guys on stream, and then uh, we'll see what you guys say as well. I'll take your um, opinions on board so thank you guys for watching i hope to see you tomorrow until then have a go oh i'll I, I also quickly sorry i will also put a link in the description to the let's play video that ca made of course so you can watch that too if you're not subscribed to their page um and besides that i like you know all the information that you need to know about the streams and stuff is going to be in the description uh so just check that out anyway farewell <laughs>